this is the way you brand brand your work I don't know if you can see that it says Mike Hedden's round two woodworks 2014 and the way I get that on there is I saw this over on Jay Bates custom creations there on YouTube and uh, what you do is you, um, you know, put ever whatever you want down but you have to flip it around mirror image it so now it's saying Mike Hedden's round two woodworks it's it's a mirror image I had to go on YouTube find out how to do it on uh, Windows uh, or on uh, Word but it's easy to do once you once somebody explains it to you so you you uh, you print it out then you have to go down I've got an ink printer you know a, a ink jet or whatever they call it you need a laser jet with toner so I went down to Staples and had them make up a, a, a few copies of this so I you just cut one out and you put it how you want it you know or wherever you want it and I've got this little wood burning thing with this little tip on it and um, that's how you transfer you just use heat you don't want to burn it though do is just try to get that heat all over it and it takes a little bit to do it I wish I had a better tip and if this if I keep wanting to do this I may get a, a better tip that's made for this there's a there's a name for for this uh, system you know you can look it up on YouTube too just transferring poly something I think it is called Looks like it's working. Mike Hedden's Round 2 Woodworks. There it is. Works pretty good, really, I think. You know, now, now you got to put some, sh you got to spray shellac on it. I tried to, to wipe some and it smeared it. So you got to spray something on it, let it dry, and then you're all right. That's the way you do it. <laughs> Talk to you later. Well, look at this. A few hours uh, a day, and we're already up to ready to finish these little frameless uh, picture holders. Now, before I uh, um, put the shellac on, I'm going to use it in the can. I'm gonna, just going to rub it in, daub it all over. Uh, the uh, branding. It, it, it'll smear, so I had to spray some uh, shellac uh, over it uh, to protect it from smearing. So now it'll be fine, and it won't. <laughs>
It's not going to take very long at all for it to dry on this August day, I'll tell you. So, um, whoops, oh, there's my screwdriver right there. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing, uh, you know, just from one end to the other, putting a nice coat on. I'll let it dry probably only half hour, maybe 45 minutes. Then I will hit it with some sandpaper, put another one on it, let it dry a good hour and a half or so. And uh, if, I f if I feel like it, then I will put some paste wax on it. Some paste wax and, um, uh, you know, buff it out. I'm not sure I'll get that far though. But uh, anyway, Let's see what this looks like. As my uh, teacher said, you don't you don't create beauty, you reveal it. Let's see how this looks. Oh yes. Oh yes. I mean, is that nice? Walnut cherry babinga. I mean, that is what it's all about in woodworking, in my opinion. You know, and we have some pretty nice wood in America called domestic. I hear these dogs barking. Now, they don't sound as loud when I see hear the video. They sound pretty loud. You know, I guess I'm just used to them. There's little chihuahuas on the next door. There's little yappers. And behind me here is Mr. B. I call him Mr. B. His name is Bastard. That's what they named him, Bastard. Um, but my grandkids, I, you know, we call him Mr. B. And I mean, he's my Western perimeter. I mean, he eats anybody and everything. So, I mean, I'd go out there to do my garden or something. I, God, if that dog ever jumped that fence, either I'd be dead or he'd be dead or we'd both be dead because I'll tell you what, he wanted me bad. So with a lot of patience and a few dog bones, now he's my best buddy. You know, it, it's amazing how uh, that pit bull changed. I'm not a real pit bull fan, believe me. But, uh, you know, he's pretty good when he gets to know you. But if he didn't know you, I'd stay away from him. My western perimeter. Yes, I do love shellac. It's so user-friendly. It's so forgiving. It dries even. And it looks good, you know, and it's been around forever. Well, almost forever. Yep, 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 yep. When Pitbulls are one thing, but little, well, I shouldn't say anything about chihuahuas. I, I won't say anything about them. If you have a chihuahua, more power to you. All right, one more. And this little segment is over. So what we'll do is um, we'll let this dry. I'll come back, do it again, hit it with some some steel wool let it dry hit it again and then the next the last thing is waxing you know i i think it looks beautiful waxed all right so uh let me finish this up and we'll get on to uh the duties at hand. This this little thing's coming right along. It's coming along at a fast pace, and it's looking pretty nice. I think pretty nice indeed. Hot day, hot hot day. I need air conditioning in my shop. Yeah, <laughs> love you, my dear. 
three months. Well, it cooled down a bit. So, uh, I came out here to finish this little project up. Uh, I put three coats on of shellac. Put a coat on, let it dry, hit it with some steel wool. Another coat, let it dry, hit it with some steel wool. Uh, another coat, let it dry overnight, hit it with some steel wool. And then uh, here we are with the wax, since it's a little cooler. Now, um, what we're going to do is after this wax dries, uh, we're going to put it on the buffing wheel. So, uh, that'll bring out the, the, the real luster. So, these are looking pretty good. You know, they're going to be done here soon, so... I'm going to have to, I've had a lot of projects going, you know, I, summer's winding down so i got to spend a little time in the garden and got to spend a little time on the hot rod. Um, and then of course there's housework, you know, cleaning the bathroom, vacuuming, changing the bed linens, doing laundry, doing dishes. That's all said and good, but the problem is six, eight months from now you gotta do it all over again, so what good is it? <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Alright, so what we've done is we've waxed these off. I've got my wheel over here and um, we um, we're gonna put them on there on the wheel. But you know, restoring cars, uh, I've spent more time sitting in front of a a buffing wheel than I or a wire brush wheel way more than I want to admit <laughs> I mean I if I would have put that to, towards school I I'd probably have a PhD easy so one thing I know about the buffing uh, wheel is that it can really be your servant or it can be your nemesis especially on wood or something like that or metal where it can really hurt you it'll catch you and throw it throw it back at you so when when you're using a buffing wheel, especially on wood, just the li the lightest hand, almost just the weight of the wood, because what you're doing really is you can buff this out by hand. That wheel goes to 3,400 RPM, so it goes fast, and it can if you catch an edge, it can burn this thing. So don't let the wheel bounce. Don't catch an edge. Just let the wheel do its thing. Let the uh, the wood, uh, uh, you know, rest on the wheel, and and uh, it'll it'll shine up real nice. Let's see how this thing looks. Okay, this is my bucking wheel. As I say, I put I put some hours on this bucking. Now, what we're going to use? Uh, let me make sure you can see. Yeah. What? Uh, what we're going to use is this very soft buffing wheel. It's not hard like the, the metal one for the you know, planes or whatever. This is very soft. But when this gets going at 3400 RPMs, you know it. So put your safety glasses on. Turn it on, and let's buff. Now remember, a very light hand. If the, if the wheel starts to bounce, you're, you're, you're too heavy. Yes, 
takes a very light hand. And the way I do it is I try to go in order. You know, this side, this side, this side, this side. And then, uh, and then flip. Doesn't take much. This is going 3,400 RPMs. Now this is the back side of the... You don't want it to bounce. We can help it. We just want a real light contact and let this soft brush do its thing. on the wheel because if you catch this it'll snap it down and it'll burn the wood so it takes a while so you you, you know you won't like this catch it um, and, but it takes some practice but once you get it it's it's all you know it's almost uh, you know second nature so you can kind of stand here introvertedly and think about the problems of the day or or problems of the world, or, or your next project, which is better to think about, or just, you know, daydream. Because you got a lot of this work. But the secret is light touch, light touch. So let's, uh, let's buff. Okay, we finished our project, so uh, let me critique it. You know, I thought it was a good idea when I saw it over at Steve Ramsey's uh, uh, Woodworking for Mere Mortals. He's got a lot of good ideas over there, really some fun things to do. But, but I like this and I thought it might, might make some good Christmas gifts. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I got six out of the deal. It didn't take too long. Um, but, uh, you know, as I said earlier, I, I thought that the pine had uh, knots that popped and stuff. I'm not sure of that. Uh, why I used pine is you saw me uh, do up the walnut, the uh, cherry, and the babinga. Well, the babinga was 15 bucks for that little two-foot board. The cherry, 14 bucks, and I'd say the walnut, since I tore it off at eight bucks a foot, you know, you know, eight or ten dollars for the walnut. Now, um, I could buy a board like this, you know, ten foot long for five bucks. So I was thinking, well, I think I'll laminate just the 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 exterior, which I, I think worked out well. And I thought I had a knot problem, but I've got all these down, you know, to where they uh, came out of the, um, whoops, not that one. I guess so. Some of them, some of them are flat and some of them aren't. Some just stayed nice and round, and I thought the ones that 
had a flat in them um, was because the pine knot broke. And I heard, you know, when I was cranking it down at first, pow, I heard those knots break on the first two I did. And that was one of these, these. So I thought it was maybe the knot. So I wet them down and some, you know, they, you know, are perfectly, you know, they don't have any little straight edge on them at all like that. But they're all, you know, they all have this, this kind of flat area. And um, I said, you know, it sounded, it seems strange. So I looked at my mold. Now, when I, when I did this mold, I got this board out and I took a circular saw and went like that, you know and to, to bend it curvy well i don't know if you can see this but that that's flat you know, I, I didn't notice it or i didn't think it would be anything but that flat produced itself on the project so now that we know that I can say, well, I had to engineer that in because that flat makes it more stable. So I suggest to you, if you do this project, you ought to engineer that flat into yours for stability. Uh, unless, of course, uh, you don't want to. So anyway, that was one problem I had. So, Bill, if you're going to do this, <laughs> you know, Whatever shape you do it, it's going to be there. So think about that one. You're not going to get a kind of a close shape. It'll be pretty much on. So anyway, they came out pretty good. Uh, I like them. I think they're, they're going to be nice Christmas gifts. Um, so uh, that, that, that about does it for this project, I think. And it was, it was a lot of fun. I, uh, I suggest that to anybody that uh, you might want to want to give it a shot. Boy, there'd be a lot a lot of woods that you could use that really look pretty on this thing. So um, anyway, I thank you all for for uh, interest in uh, this little picture frame. I I thank Steve uh, Ramsey over there, and uh, I uh, I hope. Uh, if I give them as gifts, people like them. We'll find out. Anyway, it's only August, so you got time. Take care. Well, that's what it looks like. You put, you know, pictures, seasonal cards, picture frames, or, uh, you know, uh, business cards I think it looks nice you you there's a lot of things you could you take it to work to display your business cards or Christmas cards anything so I think uh, I hope that'll be a, a popular little uh, little gift We'll see. Merry Christmas, everyone, in August. Take care.